This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and I recently received an Amazon package from an anonymous donor containing this killer key. It's a one-time use product intended to permanently disable a door lock. When you insert the key, the pins in the lock will drop into this groove, and since there's no ramp to lift the pins as the key is withdrawn, it becomes permanently lodged. Then to make it even harder to remove, the key is grooved, so it's easy to break the bow of the key off after the blade is stuck. According to the packaging, removing this requires drilling the lock. Now a couple of notes about this. First, if I were to make one of these keys, I'd put the groove a little bit farther down the blade of the key so there wouldn't be anything left on the outside to grab. It would look something like this. And second, these can be really easy to remove if you know how they work and have the right tools. This is a notch decoder that I sell over on covertinstruments.com. I've put a tiny little barb on the side of the blade by hitting it with the corner of a small slotted screwdriver. This is the perfect tool for removing one of these killer keys. The decoder blade lifts the pins out of the way, and the barb grabs the key and pulls it out. It looks something like this. This is currently stuck. Then I'm going to insert, lift all the pins out of the way, and then just pull it out, and the key comes with it. Let's do that one more time so you can see it was not a fluke. Insert this along the blade of the key, lift all the pins, and then just pull it out. Okay, folks, these so-called killer keys can be pretty useful, but it's important to remember two things. First, they will not slow down a prepared attacker, and second, it's usually not necessary to drill the cylinder. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.